Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. It's Friday and guess what? Manchester United just last night has agreed terms uh, with Gerard Branthwaite. And guys, I just want to react to this video. I want you guys to get your, your views. Gerard Branthwaite, is that the kind of player United should? Well, uh, yeah, I will tell you guys the pros and the cons about this move. Actually, he is not a Manchester United player yet. I mean, it's not a year we go from Fabrizio Romano, but it is here we stand you, you see what i mean so united has gone in and they have um got, have done the first stage of uh, every contract uh contract i told you guys i work with agents in hockey uh, i mean i do even till now in uh, the khl uh, in continental hockey so i know the way it works the first way is the first step is you meet a, a player and hockey by the way is similar kind of similar with football because i played football i know what i'm talking about so <laughs> you meet the player, you ask his opinion. If the player gives a go, you have you come out with a figure with the player, and uh, the next thing is you start trying to talk now with uh, the, the 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 club. But well, it is uh, reported that Manchester United have uh, agreed a, um, a, a personal term with Gerard uh, Brathwaite. It is reported that the the price that is where it is very worrying for me is uh, like a hundred between hundred and fifty or maybe more hundred and sixty, not more than that. To be honest, um, I got that from the uh, FT, and uh, but also the mirror has picked this up also, and uh, which means it's something which is a uh, it's a fact. And we have heard from Sky also that United are, are moving ahead for Brentford's deal. But look, you know, uh, some days ago I read an I read an article that Manchester United will not are not ready to pay over forty million for for uh, Brentford, and now we are hearing that Everton wants nothing less than uh, eighty million. That's for, from the BBC actually. BBC wrote something that not less than eighty million. Look, I just want to say something. Brentford as a player, good player, young player, twenty years of age, and he's a left footed defender, and that brings me. It gives. It start ringing the bell. I'm a bit worried. I know. Okay, this is a left foot footed player playing. Um, we already have Lisandro Martinez, who definitely is going to stay. We need a right-footed uh, def central defense midfielder. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I know that we are heading to the Brexit FC, FC where we'll be buying British players. And uh, by the way, he, he isn't in the European setup. He wasn't selected by uh, Gary Southgate, but um, throughout the whole season, right, we have heard a lot of good news with this player, with this uh, about uh, Jaren Brathwaite. We have see, uh, seen how uh, his qualities. He's uh, uh, six, I think, six foot, six foot four or five, uh, and um, very physical uh, player. Uh, he has been in the Premier League for some time. He has a good reading, but I am a bit worried about one thing in this deal, which I read. I like everything, but there's one thing, and it's the Harry Maguire factor. It is the I can call it the Paul Pogba factor to some extent when it comes to money. I don't want to put Cristiano Ronaldo, but I will put it the Sanchez also factor. What what do I mean by this? I mean um, the salaries. The salary might be too heavy for him. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to end this, but what I'm trying to say is that the salary. The, um, I think he was. Uh, his salary has not only been uh, tripled but almost quadrupled uh, in this contract with Manchester United. From he was ending between I think thirty five and forty million pounds, uh, forty thousand pounds a week, and now with a hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty, it's almost four times what he was earning with Everton. So give me your thoughts about that. What is your view? Is Gerard Bathway the solution for Manchester United? Well, I will tell you guys that I won't disappoint you guys. That I think no, Gerard Brathway isn't the solution for Manchester United. Gerard Brathway should, uh, um, uh, Gerard Brad Manchester United should go for another defender. Look, I, I I still don't understand why we haven't gone for a player which plays for uh Sergi Ratcliffe team in Nice. We have had reports also that Sergi would would love to if if there is a good bidder or good buyer for Le for Nice, he will. He will he will like to um to give a go. I mean, sell sell these to be honest. But we have been hearing that that Eric Ten Hag who really likes uh the French international Tedibo who plays for Nice, and we haven't heard anything about uh about this player coming to Manchester United. And to be honest, guys, look, Tedibo is a name we have been hearing the whole season. United Tedibo, United uh Nice, uh, Sir Jim Radcliffe Tedibo, you know Nice. That connection, we have always been thinking that, yes, that is what United is going to do. 
uh, 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 now we have just heard um, the news have come out that United have accepted pressing out terms with Jared uh, Brathwaite, which I, I, I think um, my assessments with him, the plus is, as I said, the plus is that he's a British player. He plays for pre Premier League teams. He does understand um, the, the rigorous of, uh, of the Premier League defender. He is quick, left-footed, tall. He has all those attributes. But there are also some cons. The cons is he's in experience. Um, he hasn't. He doesn't have a. Uh, he hasn't had a lot of games in the Premier League. Let's let's be honest. United is a different animal. There are levels to football, and um, you know he is a left footer, which you can put it, which is good in general. But in United, we already have Lisandro Martinez. Hopefully, he becomes fit with uh, Lisandro Martinez this uh, this uh, s this campaign coming. But uh, also. The biggest one for Manchester United is the fact that Everton wants uh, between 70 and 80 million. They are budging on that. That is what we are hearing. And uh, that might come back and bite Brightway because even if he has a good game or he has an average game, he will always be rated to that figure. And that is a problem we have in Manchester United, which Inos has to, Inos has to solve. Uh, Manchester United has always been a, a team that attracts players, but since all these e excessive uh, transfers in terms of um, fees have, have gone up, gone uh, across, it has really brought problems. Look, a good example, a simple good example, is a, a good player we bought last season, which is Onana, right? We bought him for 40, oh, 45 million, uh, 45 million uh, your, your, uh, pounds, almost 50 million pounds. Let's put a round figure on that. But look, if he w came to United for free, I don't think he would have been, the, the fans would have been talking a lot about his transfer fee and everything. They don't even go and talk about someone like Harry Maguire, which the first season was very excited. Uh, then later, he lost massively pace. He was playing for a defending team. And this is a very good point. Everton is not a possession-based football club. So when you are a defender playing for a possession-based football, for a club which is not possession-based, which plays on a counter-attacking and or defends the whole game, as a defender, you are easily noticed because you b balls will always come across you. You always have to defend actions. You always have to prove your, your worth. You always have it. You know, but when you're playing against a possession based team, there are other attributes which are needed in the in, 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 in your in your game. They, you will you will have to uh, be a very good on your foot. You have to have a good reading that's like Lisandro Martinez, like you know, Luke Shaw, a good example of players you know because you watch United. And um, so this is something with I think Bradway uh, um will will have to work on it before the season starts because United um, uh, really needs uh, to have, have that central, central uh, back uh, locked up. We considered a lot of goals last season and we should uh, start working on... Uh, I mean, this is a good deal if it goes through because, look, there are certain places in the pitch which I think United must, much, uh, uh, must uh, strengthen. And I'll go with the holding midfielder, someone that plays with, uh, with the, the defender. I, I have said this yesterday, if you haven't watched the videos I did yesterday, uh, I said Amrabat has to stay plus another defender. Ma look, I want, I, want, I want Claude Makelele to come out from retirement and play for Manchester United. But what I always do on this community is to be, rash to be rational. So I think Amrabat should stay and then we need another holding midfielder because the season is long. We have over 30 games to play just in the league. Uh, so um, tell me what you think below, guys. Smash a like on the video. Gerard Brathway, it's not a year we go. No, from Fabrizio or from whosoever. It is a United have accepted, done the first stage of every transfer, which is you agree on the... You agree on the transfer, right? You agree with the player, which means you agree with the player and the player's team. Then you start going to the team. Hopefully, United will get this deal done. It will be a very exciting deal if we can get it done. Get uh, at least three signings before the end of this month. Let's see how it goes, guys. Smash a like on the video. Take uh, uh, Get involved with the United way. Please, guys, we want to hit 10,000 subscribers. If you love something in this video, make sure you give us a like, and I would love you to join the community. So please subscribe to the channel and uh, get involved because we'll be doing some lot of videos in the summer. Without said, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.